What time is it? It's K-pop o'clock. Hi, I'm Isaac Paul Ludington, and I'm certifiably a K-pop expert. And I'm Lou. I'm an actual K-pop expert. Welcome back to K-pop o'clock, the show where I show Isaac K-pop music videos, and he provides us with insights on the music video, the group, the members. These insights are 100% totally real, accurate, yep. A quick disclaimer before we get started, um, there is a good chance that I will mispronounce things, so please be nice to me. Second disclaimer, I got braces now. Yay? Yay, yeah, luckily it's been long enough that my teeth don't hurt everywhere all the time anymore, but I do got, I got metal in my mouth, so that's fun. Yay. Alrighty, today's video is let's see if i can actually spell this right dum d dum d by g idol what yep what dum d dum d and also if you Take Jesus a, Christ! If you take a look at this, everything is in all caps except for the eyes. Oh, man. So I have some questions for you. I have questions. Yes. Except that you have Except that I, I have the answers, really, because I'm the K-pop expert. Yes, so this music video fuses sort of like old west and modern vibes with like the look of the music video what is the significance of that well here's the so so um the significance of that is it's tied to what the song is about um and what the song is about is a uh, a robot a cowboy robot um mm -hmm. named Dumdy uh and he the robot Dumdy uh is actually a completely useless robot which is why they call him Dumdy um but he's also a cowboy he's a cowboy robot now, I have another question already. There are zero robots, or really cowboys in this music video. So what does our dear friend Dumdy the Cowboy Robot have to do with this video in any way, shape, or form? Well, see, see Dumdy is an, is, uh, is an android, which is a robot that looks like a person. Mm-hmm. Um, so he actually appears in this video. There is one old white man in this music video. That's as far as the men go. Is that Dumdy? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That is, that is Dumdy. Now, this, this old white man shows up like maybe twice. So why is the song named after him if he literally has nothing to do with the video? Well, okay. Now, now here's the thing. You know, many music videos are only, like, obliquely related to the content of the song. You know? So, like, it's, it's sort of, like, let me think of this. Like... This is probably a very bizarre thing to reference in a video that is more or less about K-pop. But you know the 16 Military Wives music video, the Decemberists? Mm -hmm. So, you know, yes, that like... that has nothing to do, basically, with... Well, well I, I it's, mean, it so has something it's, it's to obliquely do. related to it, that's my point. It's like, the song, the song itself is not about Model United Nations which is what the music video is about. The song is about the actual political state of the United States circa 2006. Staring at the natural tan, 
32 gently clenching wrinkled little hands 17 company man yes. um so this song the song's about dumdy the robot the video is just kind of about the aesthetic yes um so can then i guess can you talk since we're watching the video can you talk a little bit about like what the video itself is about yes of course what the video itself is about is um so it's blending sort of the old west aesthetic with the modern aesthetic like you said mm -hmm. um and so it's about a gunfight. It's about a historical gunfight that happened in the Old West in the 1800s or so. Uh, late, late 1800s? Yeah, late 1800s. Um, that, but it's kind of like transported to a modern-ish setting. So, yeah, that, so it's sort of like a metaphorical reinterpretation of that famous Western gunfight, uh, way back when. Right. Between, uh, uh, Siobhan Big Shot and Mandy... Dinkelberg. <laughs> this was this was a notable gunfight. Uh, they chose they chose this particular gunfight because G Idol is a girl group, and this is like this was a gunfight between two women, um, which is what makes it very notable in the Midwest because not the Midwest, the Old West. <laughs> so it makes it very notable in the Old West because unfortunately. Most of the gunfights that have been talked about are very, like, it's very much, like, overtly masculine. Mm -hmm. Um, this was not a, this was between two women. So. Hot. Anyways. Well, you didn't have, okay, all right, all right, okay. Just, just because two women want to kill each other doesn't make it sexy, Lou. I don't know. That's pretty sexy to me. Yeah. Anyways. All right. Let's watch this. Here, I'll go ahead and pause it so you can read that. Holy shit. So, can you please explain what this has to do with the video? Yes. So, um... So this is the, this is obviously the sort of setting the scene. And this is like, so, kind of, again, a modern reinterpretation of the Sh Siobhan versus Mandy gunfight. Um, and so Siobhan and Mandy were two of six women who were traveling to uh, an... They were, they had all, they were traveling along the same road and they had all coincidentally stopped at an inn. Um, but then historically what happened is, uh, Siobhan and Mandy get into this disagreement about who's going to pay for the drinks. Uh, and as a result, like, you know, it's the late 1800s. The most logical thing to do when there is a disagreement about who's going to pay for the drinks is murder. So, uh, that's how the gunfight happened. Right. Yes. Well, let's keep watching. Very burningly compelling, as this says here. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Now, is she just one of the other girls, or is she one of the people involved in the gunfight like is she representing that's Siobhan that's Siobhan that's Siobhan okay 
this is going to be real fun because I have trouble with facial recognition sometimes, so... It's okay. It'll introduce them one by one. Okay, so... cool. Now, how about her? Uh, that is, uh, a separate individual. That's, uh... Beatrice. Beatrice. Yes. Lovely. That's Mandy. That's Mandy? Yeah. Okay. And there's Dumdy! There's Dumdy! The useless cowboy robot. <laughs> and who is she? Oh, um, that's Trevisima. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> Whoa, that was just kind of a sharp cut to a whole new thing. Yeah. That's Bibby. Bibby. Okay, now we're back to the music. Yes, and the last one. Oh, that's Norma. Norma. Cool. Yes, yeah, so that these are all six of the people who were historically yes. present for that gunfight. Here's what's gonna be fun. Can we remember their names? Um probably. This'll yeah, alright, cool. Here we go. Oh god, me too. I know, right? Yeah. We're in the midst of a heat wave. Like in real life. There she is, Siobhan. Siobhan. Now it's a completely different song again. Yes, why did she throw her suitcase to the side? She's about to get wasted in the bar in. Fun. <laughs> These are some lyrics. Yep. Why is she just chilling in her room? Well, um, so that's Beatrice. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so Beatrice got there early, um, and so she's, she was able to just vibe. Solid. Where's that Trevisima? This is Trevisima. Okay, cool. That's Trevisima. That's Bibby. <laughs> What's up with Bibby? Can you tell me a little bit more about Bibby and her story? Yeah, so the story of Bibby is um Bibby was one of the first people in the Old West to discover marijuana. Um, and as a result, she just was absolutely stoned out of her mind for the, like, ever since that point, she was able, like, she was just completely gone from reality for basically the rest of her life. She smelled terrible, like, like, you know, like a skunk, just bad. Cool. Bibby. Bibby. Bibby the stoner. There's a bird. Yes. That's Bibby's bird, Dibby. 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 <laughs> Dibby. 
so that one is uh, that one's Mandy. Mandy, and Mandy seems to be having a good time right now. Yeah, well, the disagreement hasn't happened yet. I see, I see. It's gonna be it's all downhill from here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Norma just worked at the uh, at the motel, uh, not not the motel, because in old times it was an inn. Yeah, so there's uh, them kind of celebrating. Yes, why was there just like a little tortoise? It's the old west. Haven't you ever like driven through the desert? There's fucking tortoises like up the wazoo. I just wasn't sure if there was any significance to them having a shot of just a tortoise. Well, because tortoises, Lucy, are cool. Okay. And every like, you know, if I was a camera person and there was a tortoise, I would like... No matter what the movie was about, I'd be like, hell yeah, you funky little dude. And then if I was an editor and I saw that my camera person had caught a shot of a tortoise, like, I don't care if this movie's set in space. I'm putting that tortoise in my flip. I'm pressing play. Yeah. I love tortoises! Money. It's flying. Why... Aren't they catching it? Well, because this represents the money that they're uh, spending on, like, that that's, that's represents the amount of money that they are racking up in their tabs. Mm. Like, they're buying a lot of drinks, and in the case of Bibby, a, like, a lot of food. Um, Bibby. <laughs> Bibby. Well, they're also, they're, all of them, have, like, are buying, like, Old West tapas, but Bibby's, like, got, like, you know, she's got the munchies. Bibby. This is, this is fun, because in this, both in this video and in the last one, I'm talking a lot about, like, drugs, when in reality, I know nothing about them. So I'm probably going to say something wrong here very soon, and everybody I know is gonna, like eat my ass about it or concept they won't care yeah fair but Like little, like balls. It looks like it's like a bathroom and a bathtub. It's like an aesthetic bathtub. Aesthetic bathtub. It's like it's like, freaking. You know those pop up museums that like yep. serve no purpose except to be places where you can take cool photos of yourself. It's like one of those places. In a motel. Yeah, in a motel. Well, this is a this is a. Like, this This is an aesthetic video. Well, yes, of course. Yeah, it's basically just an aesthetic ball pit. Yep. Okay. So that's... Beatrice. Yes. And that's whatever the fuck her name is. Trevisima? Trevisima. They seem to be friendly. Yeah. Oh, you mean like friendly, like, not, not like friendly friendly, but like friendly friendly. Are they friendly friendly? Well, here's the thing. You know how historians are. Um, it's incredibly likely, but... Everybody's very insistent that they're just friends. Um, you know, you know, it's like one of them things. One of them things. Yeah. I hate them things. Yeah. Turn up the summer. What is the significance of the room being filled with bubbles? Okay, so 
Obviously, in this video, they can't show an actual gunfight. Um, because that would be, you know, the, that would go against the aesthetic, that would probably not be, like, viewer appropriate, etc., etc., etc. And so they have gone for the most obliquely metaphorical route, where they have filled the room with soapy water, but the soapy water actually represents blood. Um... And it's to uh, symbolize the bloodshed, because here's the thing, Siobhan and Mandy both fired at the same time, and both, uh, they both unfortunately killed each other at the same time, and so nobody paid for the meal, and so the four survivors kind of had to have the, the blood of the, like, metaphorically speaking, like, the blood of the gunfight is on them forever, which is sort of similar to how after you take a bath, you smell like soap for like 10 hours. Okay. Why are they having such a good time though? Well, it's so one, it's the aesthetic and two, it's sort of like, it's sort of the perverse joy of mortality, you know? Like, I'm hitting play. <laughs> okay. You're not saying anymore. <laughs> So they're all there for this part. Mm-hmm. So... Ghosts. Ghosts. Great. Makes perfect sense. Okay, so this is the fun, this is the fun part of the, uh, of the old story of the gunfight. This is the really interesting part, um, historically speaking. So immediately after the gunfight happened, the two people who were slated to pay for the drinks, right, um, they're dead now. And so the other four don't know what to do. And so they decide that what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to bring them back from the dead. And so they make a bonfire and they do like a uh, bringing back from the dead sort of like dance thing, but something goes wrong and the next morning everybody is dead. Which is why you see their ghosts on the roof, like all six of them are ghosts. Cool. So, yeah, nobody knows for sure what happened that night? Because there were no witnesses. We just know they went to do a ritual to bring the two who had died in the gunfight back from the dead. And then immediately afterwards, everybody was dead. Spicy. Very spicy. Hit the drum. dance for bringing someone back from the dead. Well, of course they're not going to do the actual dance cuz this is choreography and they don't want to they don't want to bring actual people back from the dead by that's accident. That's true. That's true. But yeah. Yeah, so that's the horrifying history behind G Idol's Dumdy Dumdy music video. Yeah. That was something. Um so do you feel as though the concept of this video was portrayed well? Well, I think that, like, a more clear-cut historical interpretation is kind of what, um, what I would enjoy more as a viewer. But, I mean, with, with the fact that they were trying to do, like, an aesthetic modern interpretation, I think it, I think they did a fairly good job. You know, but, like... For my personal preference, I would have liked it if it had either been A, a completely accurate historical reproduction of the gunfight and eventual death of the six, mo the six in travelers, 
Or if it had been about everybody's favorite useless cowboy summer robot, Dumpty. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Any final insights? Um, history's cool, guys. Like, there's all kinds of cool stuff that happens historically. Like, you get to... If you, if you dig deep, you can find some really, really wild things. Like, you know, the story of Siobhan Big Shot and Mandy... Uh, I, I already forgot her last name, but, you know, that, those, that gunfight and that eventual, the eventual death of their traveling companions. Like, it's really interesting. So, my final insight is look up history facts, um, real ones, and you will find interesting things. Well, this has been another episode of K-Pop O'Clock. Yes, it has. Um, we hope you enjoyed. Yep. Unplug this. You having you having some trouble there?